Good morning everyone, today we're back on Elm Creek and we're gonna be doing some storm cleanup. I'm heading out the door just before 6 a.m. here. We're gonna have a long day, guys. A huge storm came through last night. Some pretty strong r winds in the phone's been ringing off the hook here with the tree services a company with uh, people asking us to clean up some trees. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. And oh, look at this, guys. This is my new daily. Uh, it's a 2016 Chevy uh, 1500 V8. It's a 6.2 liter with a pretty sweet exhaust. The exhaust on this Silverado, guys, is pretty sweet here. It is aftermarket, and it definitely makes a V8 roar in here, but today should be a lot of fun. We are actually using a new work truck and a new tractor, which should be pretty cool here. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button, as it does help out uh, the channel and all of the videos here as well. But I will say, guys, this Silverado, I've been really wanting this here in FS22, and now we have it. This thing is pretty sweet here, but we're just getting over to the shop, and I do actually have a few people helping out later on today. But for now, we got, uh, have to go uh, and get going here. So look at that, guys. We are actually going to be using a Kubota tractor with a grapple on the front to help us on out. And our brand new work truck here. This is new. This is new to us. It's a 2018 Ram 3500 Cummins. Cold start here on the Cummins. It's right around 40 degrees here. Being outside, uh, this thing is pretty sweet here. I'm really excited to see more and more trucks come on over to FS22 and uh, just more and more mods getting released here, which is pretty sweet. And I really, I uh, really do like the color of this. It is a pretty unique color, but we'll get backed up here to it. And I do uh, already know we have the chance. So we're all ready to go. Our first client of the day, guys, is going to be the one that called us first. They have a camper trailer in their yard, and they said two trees fell down, and it's unfortunate, but one of them fell on the camper trailer, and they asked if we could get it cleaned on up, so I gave a price over the phone, and they agreed to it here, and hopefully we could give them a hand here. Now, with a compact tractor, we are going to be hauling all the wood away, and we should be able to probably put it in the back of the truck if we need to. We could also put it in uh, the trailer and bring it on over here but oh look at that guys we could already see it wow pretty big pine tree let's get the Kubota unstrapped and we'll get it fired on up now we'll get it warmed up here while we quickly take a look at it wow look at that guys that looks to be a 30 40 foot uh, tall pine tree falling right on the camper trailer wow that is a pretty fancy camper oh look even a smaller tree over here so it looks like these are the two trees that do need to be cleaned up here and I think I'm gonna recommend that they do not park the camper right alongside uh, tall trees like that and especially some of these you could actually see a lot a lot of bark on them there it looked to be pretty old in age uh, maybe uh, they uh, they need to call us back here to have a few more removed but wow this is gonna be a lot of cleanup here so I'm gonna go get the chainsaw and I think we should probably uh, first get started off trying to get this into small pieces uh, to fit on the truck or trailer since we're doing tree work here, guys, we do have a safety vest on, and I do also have safety pans where if the chainsaw does end up touching them, it will actually uh, kind of cause the uh, chainsaw blades to no longer work here. It's just a safety thing. We have to be safe, especially we're working with a chainsaw here, but let's get out the Husqvarna chainsaw. Let's get to, uh, right to work here. Oh, yeah, this is going to work out pretty good. It's so nice, though, uh, to be back here. I really do like these tree services videos. These tree jobs, they're always a uh, pretty cool they're never uh, the same and I, I kind of like that uh, that sometimes you get calls to remove a tree other times like today you're uh, tr uh, cleaning up a tree that fell on a camper Let's see, as I cut that, this should uh, go right on over. This is actually going to be a little tricky to get on uh, uh, the roof here, but I'm actually thinking we should be able to get this moved off.
Well guys, they're all in small pieces, they're ready to go here. This is actually going to be my first time using the Kubota uh, for uh, some tree work here. And I will say guys, I think a compact tractor like this is probably the way to go here. Just because uh, with one of these, you actually don't end up tearing up the lawn as much, which is pretty important. And uh, this is still almost as maneuverable as a skid steer here. And hey, we could also put a stump grinder on the back here. Definitely need to buy one. I think that would be a really good purchase here for us, especially... Uh, to do jobs like this here. Let's go a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit of a bigger uh, uh, than what we should have here, but no problem there. Perfect. Now, if you guys haven't already, I do ask that you please uh, subscribe if you are stopping by for the first time and uh, go check me out over on Instagram. But oh, look at that, guys. We have a deer here in the yard. That is so cool here. Really do like all the little things here with FS22. So many cool features, uh, especially the wildlife with the birds flying around it and now we have deer uh, running around the properties wow that is awesome Taking a quick look here at the camper, guys, it actually doesn't seem to be too much damage here. Maybe just a few small trim pieces that need to be repaired, but there, there doesn't seem to be really much of uh, uh, structural damage, if you would call it here, which is a pretty good thing. That must be uh, probably six figures uh, the uh, customer spent on that camper. I wonder what type of truck they have uh, to pull that. Probably a dually because that is a pretty big one. Usually toy haulers as well. Uh, having a dually for them do come in pretty handy with a all the sway and just all those different things here but I will say guys it's so cool we could have a tractor like this here in the game and this uh, could also be a multi-brand and uh, we could definitely uh, use this for so many cool things even around the farms uh, these do come in pretty handy here but these smaller pieces I think we could probably just pick up here and we are getting uh, making pretty good progress here now like I mentioned guys the phone has been ringing off the hook here today we keep getting more and more calls here for tree cleanup so I think once we are done with this one here, we're going to have to head on to the next one, which should be no problem. This one seems to be a little bit too uh, big to really pick up here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we might have cut it too small for the grapple, but it should uh, still work here. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. Well guys, we're coming up here on the last piece and I will say this grapple does come in pretty handy. Now I do think we would be able to still get it done uh, even with just a regular uh, pallet fork, but the grapple will really help us out. Uh, 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 it's almost like an extra thumb on a regular bucket, which is pretty cool here, but I'm actually gonna have to leave the tractor here, go drop these off and then come on back here. Now the original plan was to just put them in the back of the uh, work truck, but I think putting them on the trailer is a little bit easier. They could be a little bit longer as well which also comes in pretty handy but wow look at that guys we have a pretty nice full trailer a few thousand pounds of wood ready to go on over let's see if we could put a few straps here on it but hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a lot of fun we got to use a new work truck here with a new compact tractor a Kubota uh, to clean up a, a few trees that fell on a camper in a storm here in FS22 but until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.